that you're hearing me and not the background noise because my neighbors are constantly doing yard work. I'm not talking like mowing the lawn. I'm talking like vacuuming their patio and vacuuming the rocks around their house. I don't know what in the upstate New York is going on, but hi guys. <laughs> I'm gonna take off this mask. Yes, according to the title, I am going on a date and I wanted to do like a little get ready with me for my date as I answer the questions you guys asked me on Instagram. It's a lot of really good ones. We will be addressing the whole dating situation because there was a ton of questions about who are you dating? Did you and your ex break up? Yes, we did. <laughs> That's why I'm living in upstate New York. I'm gonna get into all of that. I'm gonna start off with my serum, which is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I have been obsessed with this stuff lately. And let's kick off the first question. How have you been? And honestly, it's a simple question with a complicated answer. I've been just okay. Like I've been better and I've been worse. Like I'm not in the worst place that I've ever been, but I'm also nowhere near being completely content with where my life is at. I would say like the biggest stressor in my life right now is finding a job. It's been so hard. If you're a recent college grad, you probably know. You're probably living it, but the job market is so bad. And these entry-level positions want you to have a master's degree and seven years of experience. So if education wasn't so expensive, maybe I could do that. But capitalism, baby. Gotta love it. Finding a job has been really hard. Now I'm starting to like pick myself up off the pavement. That's why I'm posting more. That's why I'm like really trying to make YouTube happen because I really want this to be my career and I have the time right now. So I'm really trying to put my all into it. But otherwise I've been okay. Like this last semester before I graduated was just pure autopilot. It was a really difficult time. As you guys know, I've been dealing with grief. Somebody very, very close to me passed away unexpectedly in the fall. It just really impacted my ability to function and the only way that I knew how to cope with that was to overwhelm my entire life schedule. Anytime I wasn't at school, I was at work. I was taking 21 credits in my last semester of college. My other friends were on campus once a week. They had like two classes. On the other hand, me, I had seven classes and an independent study. So it was just like, girl, chill. <laughs> but it was the only way I could keep myself from literally like drowning in my grief. And then after this semester ended, it just all hit me and I'm really thankful that I was home for that. I've just been trying to like relearn how to be a person essentially. For my moisturizer, I like to mix these two together. This is the Selfless by Hiram Niacinamide and Maracuja and I mix in a pump of the Merit Great Skin. It is the best combo ever because this is really kind of oily and heavy and this is super lightweight. So these two together match made in heaven, I'm telling you. I've actually been coping a lot better because I've actually taken the time to work on myself when I didn't have that time and I didn't allow myself that time before when I was still in the city. To answer your question, I've been okay. I've been better. I've been worse, but those are just some updates. The next question is, what are the benefits of any recent changes in your life and how do they inspire the future? It's a really hard question. I think I could name the benefits more than I can kind of categorize how they're benefiting my future. My mental health is in like one of the best places it's been in a very long time. So that's always good in terms of looking to the future. But I do think that's a benefit of like being in a place where I don't have to stress about like making rent and literally surviving. Like if I was in the city right now, I would be in pure survival mode working seven days a week. And that's just not a lifestyle that I feel comfortable living. I'm going to use the Then I Met You Essence Light Sunscreen SPF 50. The benefits, ooh, that was a 
gross sound foul the benefits of the changes i've made are that i don't have to be stressed out and i have time to focus on myself and i think if i really commit to my youtube channel that in turn will hopefully give me a leg up in the future and i can get back to the city other recent changes i've made I bought a car, that's cool, cause like I didn't have a car, I didn't need one in the city. Where I live, there's no like things in walking distance. So I really needed to get a car. So that was the first thing on my checklist. It's a super old 2006 like old man car. It literally is like a boat mobile, okay? It is not giving, but I love it. And it's getting me where I need to be. And it's making my life here a lot more enjoyable cause I can actually do stuff. Other changes, obviously, my breakup i think that has been the most positive change in my life and it's nothing against my ex it's just that i think both of us really needed it we were in a covid relationship and that just created so much codependency without us even knowing and i just don't think that we were good for each other anymore i wish him the best i hope he's doing well but ultimately it just like was not working it was not healthy i was really in a place where I had to like belittle myself and talk down to myself and shrink myself to make that environment livable and that was so unhealthy. I really lost myself in that relationship so that just couldn't, it just was not working. Okay we're moving on to makeup now. I don't really want to do a ton of makeup. I'm just going to show you like my very light makeup routine. It's nothing crazy. I'm going to start with the Milk Kush Brow Gel in Haze. This is a little light for me right now. The next question is breakup new man. Yeah. That's why I'm getting ready for a date, girl. <laughs> Yes, obviously breakup happened. We just talked about that. I do have a new man. This was like the most unexpected thing in my entire life. Ultimately, after the breakup, my plan was to be single for a full year. Sometimes life just has other plans for you. It was definitely overwhelming at first and we're just taking things slow. I've done like the whole soft launch thing. So I knew that there would be questions about it, but he's really awesome. He is an absolute joy to be around. I can really be myself when I'm with him and that's what I enjoy. He makes me laugh. The thing I like most about him is that he has his own life outside of me and that was something that was lacking in my past relationships. For me to meet somebody who like has his own friends, has his own hobbies, can go and do stuff and not be so reliant on me to provide him a social life that's really good. We're just taking things slow, enjoying our time together. Maybe you guys will meet him in the future. How are you mentally and physically? Mentally, we kind of touched a little bit on it, but I'll get more into it. I'm really doing well. I'm really focusing on myself. Like I am trying to wake up earlier. I'm trying to drink less caffeine, but like, girl, like what am I supposed to do? Just like... <laughs> not have three cold brews a day. I'm trying to take care of my body, take my supplements, catch up on doctor's appointments, exercise. I really want to get a gym membership, but I am just like so scared of the gym for so many reasons that I can't even discuss. I've been doing workouts and yoga at home. My boyfriend works out. So that's been like inspiring me to like work out with him or like we did yoga together for the first time the other day. It was so much fun. I'm trying to find positive ways to to be physically active that are not hurting my mental health. The slope from working out to hating my body and eating disorder is like very, it's a very quick ride down. I also do go on a hot girl walk every single night. It's a good time for me to decompress mentally, focus on myself, listen to music, walk, move my body. I'm trying to just do things to elevate my mind, like reading more books again, writing, playing my guitar, playing my piano. I mix these two primers together. Don't even bully me. I know this thing is old and they don't even make it anymore, but I'm so obsessed with this stuff. There's nothing like it. This is the Becca backlight priming filter. I mix it with the Milk Hydro Grip, half a pump of each. Most of my time has been spent trying to find a job. I've hit about 200 applications at this point. It's been tough. 
but overall my mental health is good. Um, I'm actually on a break from therapy and I feel like it's been helpful. I feel like I've gotten time to just like apply the skills that I've learned. I'm not recommending it to you. I'm just telling you like what I've been doing and how it's been good for me. Because I'm in a new relationship and maybe I will make a whole video about this, trying to maintain my own identity in my relationship and not become codependent on somebody else for my happiness. Also, this foundation is the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. I'm just trying to maintain myself and not get lost in another person like I've tended to do in the past. It's a difficult thing. It definitely takes a lot of presence and like consciousness in your relationship. If you both value the same thing, like you both value your own space, your own mental health, your own energy, it's gonna happen for you and you're gonna be in a very healthy relationship. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the light shade and it's so good. Like that undertone is everything. Because of my neurodivergent brain, I hyperfixate a lot. Learning how to be healthy in a relationship has been a really life-changing thing for me. We both value maintaining our space, maintaining our own time, maintaining our own lives outside of each other and that has been so great. It's interesting to be in a relationship that's like inspiring the best version of myself and my growth. Are you still looking for jobs in New York City slash planning to move back? The answer is yes, kind of. <laughs> if the right thing comes my way, and I do hope that it does, I'll be back tomorrow. You know what I mean? The blush I'm using is the Merit Cheek Color in Cheeky. I have been applying to jobs in the city. I have gotten zero opportunities. So for me to live in the city, the salary I would need is probably something that I'm not going to find at entry level. If I stay here and I work for a year, I can get the experience I need to basically get paid enough to live in New York again. Yeah, I would love to go back. I really, really would. I never wanted to leave. That was never the first option for me. If the right thing did come my way and I was able to be back there, I would be back there immediately. Are you still planning on going to grad school? Yes. Like that is definitely something that I wanna do. My circumstances have changed. My goals have changed. I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know what. I've been advised by so many people in the philosophy world to like basically not go to grad school for philosophy because the odds of me finding a job in the field is like, ugh. All you could do is be a professor and that's what I would like to do. It's not like you can just apply to be a professor and then you're set. It's so difficult. So it's something that I don't, I don't know. I know school is like not off the table for me. I'm definitely not done, but I also know that it's much more complicated than just like going to grad school for philosophy for you know, seven years. Part of me has also been considering psychology, maybe becoming a therapist. I've been told I should be a therapist like my entire life. So maybe I should listen to that. Going in with the Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder and just like doing a little light set. But there's a lot of things to consider before making that decision. And I don't feel like now that, you know, things have changed so much, I don't know if I'm in a place to decide that right now. Somebody asked what my dream career is. Is, I don't know. I have no idea. I want to be a philosophy professor. Like that's my, that is my ultimate dream career right now slash realistically. I would love to have my YouTube channel do well and I would love to make this a career because it does feel meaningful like getting to connect with people and inspire people and be open about my life experiences with people. I am not built for a nine to five desk job. It's just not for me. I think I am built to talk to people. That's why I like YouTube because it gives me an opportunity to like get my thoughts out of my head. <laughs> this mascara is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black lash. But I also don't really dream of labor these days. I just want to frolic. How did I manage my time at FIT? I'm starting soon and I'm so nervous. I mean, this could go for any college student. I took on a lot from day one at school. I really wanted to be involved. I wanted to make a lot of friends. I also wanted to have a job. It's definitely possible. I was really keen on having a good sleep schedule so that I would have the energy during the day to actually do stuff. I usually have all my classes in the morning and then have the afternoon to 
like do homework, work a few hours at my job. I worked at Lush. I worked at Chill House. You can also work on campus. So you're just like right there or you can get an internship or a remote internship that will be a lot more flexible with your schedule. I'd say I had a pretty solid social life until my last semester where I overwhelmed myself with too many classes. It's really all about just taking care of yourself and making sure that your mental health is in a place where you can go and like do stuff. Because if your mental health isn't good in a place like New York, you're just going to feel like you're drowning all the time and you're not going to want to like leave your apartment or leave your dorm. So if you prioritize your mental health, you're just going to feel so much better. For my lips, I'm using the LA Colors Nude Glow Lip Liner. This is the shade Kindness. This is like my perfect match. So it just like enhances my lip shape. The Tower 28 Gloss in Coconut. So that's the makeup. Let's complete this look. I'm gonna add more product to my hair. This is the JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. I love this stuff because it adds just a little bit of hold. I'm gonna go change my outfit and I will be back. Okay, here's my outfit. I'm gonna do probably my Converse or just my off-white out of office sneakers, but they're downstairs and I don't feel like getting them. So just simple white tank, baggy jeans. I was thinking on leaving my hair down. It's all air dried now, but I think this very simple outfit would look better with at least half up. That is the hair, just a simple claw clip moment with this green claw clip. It's literally from the Dollar Tree. And then as for fragrance, oh, this is my favorite part of getting ready. I think I'm just gonna go with Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is one of my favorite scents. I think it probably is my favorite scent. Oh, it's just so good. My boyfriend really likes this one. for my date. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you feel a little bit more caught up with my life and how all over the place it's been. If you are currently in the dating world and you're meeting somebody or getting to know somebody, you don't need to dress a certain way or do a certain makeup or certain hair to impress them. Just wear what you feel comfortable with. Be yourself. Don't change for a guy or for anybody else, really. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I can't wait to see you next week for another one, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>